It's the first Friday of 2024. Wow. Cannot believe that we are in a new year already. Happy New Year if I haven't already said that to you this year. Uh, but listen, with a new year comes new possibilities. But it also comes new challenges. But also comes the opportunity for new opportunities. You're going to be hearing a lot about that over the next few weeks. The word opportunities. The word possibilities. And so I hope that you will be uh, in tune with all the things going on, the uh, handouts that we give out over the next several weeks and uh, the things that we send out over our email, our uh, social media, our video updates. Uh, there'll be different uh, people giving video updates with things. But, but listen, a lot of things going on here at Union Baptist Church, and I'm excited about what God is going to be doing over the next few weeks and throughout all of 2024 here at Union Baptist Church. God blessed us in 2023. Uh, over the next few days, I'm going to be uh, sending out a letter to uh, our church family. Uh, so be looking for that in the mail. And uh, yes, I'm still going to send out snail mail, the old-fashioned snail mail. So be watching for that. Uh, just kind of summarizing all that God did this year and uh, so be looking for that and as we celebrate 2023 but also look into 2024 uh, so looking into that a couple of things that I wanted to to kind of uh, reflect upon uh, winter times here have y'all noticed that it's cold outside uh, it is it has been uh, cold this week uh, but here's some encouragement for you I looked this up. There is 74 days until the official first day of spring. 74 days until the official first day of spring. You know, that reminds me of several things. That God's love never changes. Our weather changes. Our seasons change. But God's love never changes. Looking outside right now, the, the trees are, are, are gloomy. Uh, there's uh, no leaves on, on the hardwoods. But in just a few weeks, they'll start budding out. New life will be coming. And that serves as a reminder of the new life that Jesus can give us. I'm reminded that in our sin... We are just like these hardwoods. We're dead right now. We're dead. There's no life in us. But when Jesus comes in us, the new life begins. And so I want to re remind you all, as we move into this year, look to Jesus for everything. Because that's where life comes from. Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I have come that you may have life and you may have it to the fullest. See, the first part of that says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, being Jesus, have come that you may have life and have it to the fullest. In 2024, don't let the thief steal your joy. Don't let the thief steal life from you. Look to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Because Jesus is where life comes from. Remember that as we go through this year. Listen, folks, God has some great things in store this year. Just a couple of things I want to remind you all of, too. Never forget, God loves you. I love you. Union Baptist Church loves you. And we're here for you. Take time and look through this uh newsletter that's attached to the, this video. Uh, go to our website, go to our social media. Uh, but remember this, Senior Saints is coming up this Tuesday night. Uh, I believe the date for that is the 9th. Let me just be smart here and, and double check because I could be wrong with that. Uh, let's see here. Yes, that is the 9th on the January 9th. It'll be Senior Saints at 6 o'clock. Got a great meal plan for all of our Senior Saints. Uh, there at the church, so so remember that. Also, on the 14th, take note of this. On Sunday morning, the 14th, I will be revealing to our entire church 
and to those by watching by live stream what our church theme is for 2024. I've already shared it with our church leadership and uh, I'm excited about it, but uh, been dropping hints all along the way. Uh, but uh, so hopefully you've caught up on it all already, caught on to it already. But we will be uh, sharing our theme and revealing our theme and sharing our strategy uh, for 2024 uh, based on scripture of uh, what God has laid on our hearts this year uh, to do uh, in our community. But that'll be uh, shared in the Sunday morning service on Sunday morning, uh, January the 14th and uh, at 11 o'clock. So take note of that. Uh, a couple of other things that I want to remind you of. On January 28th, uh, my good friend Dr. Rock Collins will be preaching in our service as part of that theme uh, and helping us to, to kick it off. Uh, we'll be having a, a special emphasis that day. Many of you remember Dr. Collins when he preached uh, one of our nights of our revival back in 2022. Uh, many of you talked about how much you loved and appreciated him, so I talked with him at our state convention, shared with him our vision and strategy for 2024, and he would, said he would love to be a part of it. And so he's going to be with us on Sunday morning, January 28th at 11 o'clock. So take note of that. And finally, I introduced this Wednesday night, and I need your help. Everybody's help is needed in this. I always get asked, Brother Anthony, what does the Bible say about blank? So here's what I'm going to be doing over the next several Wednesday nights. I'm going to be answering your questions. I'm going to be answering your questions. So if you have a question about what the Bible says about such and such, I need you to write that down to me. You can text it to me, email it to me, but uh, give it to me. I'll try to create some kind of little card that you can fill out and give that to me. But what does the Bible say about blank? And and so I will research that and, and develop a message on that. And we will be discussing that on Wednesday nights, uh, beginning this coming up Wednesday night. Now, if nobody asks me anything between now and Say Monday, uh, I will come up with a question that I've been asked many times, and uh, and I will develop a message on that. But uh, but I know you've got questions, so take time, send those questions to me, and we will uh, try to answer those questions. We will live stream those studies uh, as well, and we will have them recorded uh, too, so we can help uh, that. But and listen, uh, there's some things that I may not be able to answer uh, over a week or two. There's some things that may take two or three weeks to answer. Uh, there may be some things that you say, Brother Anthony, what does the Bible say about blank? And that's going to be one of those where I may have to come back to you and go, hey, listen, let me get back to you uh, with that. But uh, but this, this will be a study. I did this uh, at my church in Wetumpka. It was a lot of fun. And so uh, we'll, we'll do it here and, and have some fun with it too. Hey, listen, I hope you all have a great weekend, uh, and uh, I, I'm cautious sharing this, but uh, but I, I'll i be spending time with uh, with my family uh, this Sunday morning. Uh, uh, I'm thankful for uh, church family members that, that give me gifts, and by the way, thank you all for the wonderful Christmas gifts uh, that you gave me and my family. Uh, They're all appreciative, and uh, and gone to use already so thank you all for that and uh i do love you all uh uh you you all are such a blessing to me and my family so thank you for that but uh but one of those uh, pastor appreciation gifts that i've been getting uh for the last several years is uh tickets to a titans game y'all know i'm a huge uh sports fan and so uh uh so i i had one of our deacons gave me tickets to a titans game and said go enjoy time with the family so uh so this sunday uh, I'll be at a Titans game enjoying time with my family, uh, with my son. So uh, uh, Brother Gerald Hallmark is going to be preaching Sunday morning. I love Brother Gerald. Brother Gerald loves Union Baptist Church. And uh, I, I tell him all the time that uh, if his son wasn't the pastor at First Baptist, he uh, ought to just come join our church and be a part of our church. But he loves coming to Union, and I know Union loves Brother Gerald too. So y'all be there. Uh, I know a lot of times when the pastor's not there, uh, you see it as an opportunity to, to be away. So that's why I'm cautious to share that I'm not going to be there. But listen, folks, Brother Gerald uh, is one of the finest preachers I've ever heard. I love to listen to his messages. Matter of fact, I will listen to the message as well, uh, too. So uh, listen, uh, it's going to be a great day. 
Uh, and Lord willing, I'm going to try to be back by Sunday night uh, to be there. But I do have Dr. Stan Waffler uh, lined up if I'm not able to be back in time for Sunday night. But but listen, uh, I love you all. God's got some great things in store for 2024. And uh, I, I, I look forward to it. Uh, I look forward to it, and I hope you all are a part of it. One thing I want to challenge you of, though, pray for that lost friend of yours. I want to see lost people come to know Jesus this year. I want you all to be a part of that. That's part of our vision. That's part of our strategy. Little nuggets, so it's coming. But be thinking about that lost friend. Write their name down on a piece of paper. Put it in your Bible, put it in your phone, put a reminder in your phone to pop up to pray for them daily and pray for that lost person to be saved. And I can assure you, if you pray for it on a regular basis, God will open the door for them to come to Jesus. I love you. God bless you. Can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.